Okay, student, today I want to continue our lesson. There's a refraction of light. So now I just want to describe about some of the question and also the application. Okay, let me go to see the uh, some of the question. There's a related with the refraction of light. Okay, let's see the first question. Okay, this question is related with the uh, reflection about the emitter. So the question, they say this one is an anti-parallax error mirror on an emitter. Okay, this one is a mirror below the scale. Okay, now the parallax error, they occur when you're taking the reading using an emitter. So how you overcome it? So normally, we just say we need to place one of the mirror beneath the scale. So reason? Because later when the pointer just rotate, we can find it. If you find they got image, uh, this one is a diagram of the image. If you can see two of the pointer, mean that one is parallax error. So the image and the pointer are not in line. This one is not in line, so we call this a parallax error. So you must say just got one pointer, the image is exactly overlapped by the pointer. So we say that one is a correct answer. So from here, I show the answer, how we go to overcome this problem. Okay, we use the anti-parallax error mirror. So remember the name. This name called anti-parallax error mirror. Then after that, the pointer of the emitter overlap the image of the pointer in the mirror. So this one, we go to overcome parallax error problem. Okay, we go to second question. They ask about uh, the mirror periscope. Okay, explain how the periscope is works. Okay, first one, we know this one is a mirror. So mirror, the light ray just touching the surface. The light rays cannot enter in the mirror. So when they touch the surface, first surface, they reflected. Okay, when it just refracted, then they go to second image, uh, second mirror. Then the second mirror again refracted. Last one go to the eyes. Then you can see the image. Okay, where we use it? Uh, normally we using the periscope is in the submarine. Okay, they want to observe. Okay, above the sea, anything happen? Okay, we can see the diagram here. Okay, so this one is a light from the object is refracted by the first mirror. Then after that from the second mirror, then the last one refracted to your eyes. So normally the characteristic of the image formed by the periscope, there's a virtual image, upright and also same size. So that wise, the submarine, after that C, they find it the object also exactly same like the one he see. Okay, if different, that means you cannot control it. So you must see the boat, the ship just nearby, there's the same size. Okay, so this one's an example for the periscope. Okay, the submarine they're using the periscope to observe. So this one is an image. Okay, we're going to see the question number three. Why the word ambulance? Purposely, they want to invert it laterally on the ambulance car. So normally, you find it the ambulance, the word is a laterally inverted. So this one is an example. So... Normally, we drive the car, we're going to go through the uh, the side mirror, is it? Not side mirror, the front mirror. When you see the front mirror, you can observe the behind car. So when you see from the front mirror, actually, this one laterally, that will become the actual reading for the ambulance. So you can see this part. This image is seen in the mirror of the car. That one is a front mirror. They will become upright. Okay, although they are reverse, now you can see there's a reverse. When you're using the front mirror to see it, that become the actual reading for ambulance. Okay, now we go to answer number four. So this one mirror is a makeup mirror. So we're going to observe, can you see the image formed by the mirror become bigger? So this one is a uh, makeup mirror. We want to concentrate, we want to focus to the point. Okay, so from here, they ask you what type of the mirror we use it. So the answer should be concave mirror. Okay, now can you state the position of the observer, upright or inverted? The position is upright. Okay, okay another one is here. They ask you where's the object you put it. Remember, this one is the first type I call you to draw the ray diagram. 
Okay, you can produce the virtual, upright, and also magnified. So normally the U is less than the F. So this one question they ask about position of the observe, observer. So the object is an observer. So now the position for the object distance must less than the F. Okay, number three, state the characteristic. So the characteristic is a virtual, upright, and also magnified. Okay, so the concave mirror is used to create the magnified and also upright image of the face. So this one is an example diagram. Okay, then we go number five, transmission radio wave and also the signal by using the parabolic satellite. Okay, this one is uh, name the shape of the refractor. So this one is the shape same like the concave or convex. So this one is a, okay, sorry. So this one is a focusing. So this one focusing, there's a concave mirror. Okay, you can see the concave mirror. Okay, now, can you see the receiver? Okay, the receiver, they want to receive the signal after they transfer back. So the question you ask, where is the location of the receiver? Okay, remember the info, the wave, where they come. They come from the far distance. When a far distance mean we call it as a parallel lane. Parallel ray means they must go to find focal point. So you want to get the info, so your receiver must set at the focal point. So from here, your answer is at the focal point. U equal F. Now you give the reason. Why you want to put at the focal point? So from here, we give the answer. The incident wave from the satellite, there's a distant object. So I told you distant object means very far. After that, they are parallel. And also, we focus at the focal point after reflected. So this one, why we want to put inside in the exactly the location of the focal point? Because you want to receive the parallel signal from the far distance. Okay, so this one is a sum of the satellite to show you. Okay, this one is a receiver. So they normally they put at the focal point. So this one is a one of the example they want to receive the light. Okay, the light ray to boil the water. Okay, this one is a another satellite. Okay, we go to question number six. Okay, refractor of the torch light. Okay, refractor of the torch light, we're going to see this one. Okay, can you see all the light? Okay, they from the bulb. Okay, now the bulb I don't know where's the location. I just know they refracted from the mirror. This one is a curved mirror. Okay, after they refracted, you find it as a barrier. And you find it, the light ray become barrier. So when you see the light ray become barrier, then I sure the location for the bulb sure at the focal point. So that's why they can produce a barrier light ray. So from here, name the type of the refractor we use it. So from here, what refractor we use it? This one is what mirror? This one is a, okay, we want to concentrate, so we're going to see the answer is concave mirror, concentrate the light bulb. Okay, now where's the location for the light bulb? There's a focal point. Okay, now, how does the refraction function? Okay, how does the function? So you must say how they're refracted. Okay, the light from the bulb at the F, so this one is a focal point. Hit the refractor, this one is a refractor, the mirror. And you refract the parallel. Now can see the distant object ahead. So that means when it's just on, you can see far away the, the, the condition. Okay, so this one is an example for the head, uh, headlamp, the lamp from the car. So can you see this part, the green color part? You can see the light ray, they go to downwards. Okay, the blue color part, can you see the light ray is go further? So you can see more distant. So this one we call low beam. Okay, this one we call high beam. So we see how they're refracted. Okay, first one when I put is center, that's a focal point. So you find it the light ray, they hit the refractor. This one is a mirror refractor. After that, they parallel. Okay, if I go in front a little bit, means they're not focal point. So they're also up. They're also refracted, but they will focus to one point. So this one point sure is nearer. So this one, we call it low beam. This one is a high beam. So it's normally the high beam we just on when the whole road is no car. 
so you cannot see very clear because don't have any lamp so you need to put the highlight okay okay number seven about the dentist mirror okay let's see the dentist mirror they go to focus focus the t so can you see the t become bigger already from this mirror so this one is a concave mirror okay now state the position of the t from the mirror so we also need to say where you want to put so the answer is when you want to produce a, the virtual image yeah, this one sure is a virtual and also upright and also magnified so where you want to put your object so now the t is the object so the answer should be u less than f okay now state the characteristic so the characteristic is a virtual upright and also magnified okay continue number seven this one is a type of the mirror used for the uh, car rear view and also side mirror okay the side mirror we use it so normally this part not concave concave you just can see small part but this one rear view mirror you want to see wider area so we must use it convex mirror okay state the benefit if you're using convex mirror first one we can see wider area that means beside you behind you all the car just near with you you can see clear so this one is benefit when you just drive so we see wider view of vision driver can be see the object at the back and also at the side of the car or you say blind point okay if the blind point we cannot use it the eyes to see it you must help by the mirror so this one is a benefit if you're using the uh, side mirror okay this one is a, another example okay you can see the normal one this one is a plain one plain one you can see the feel Feel of the view okay just a small anchor okay this one is curved a little bit okay this one is a convex uh, this one is a concave concave one you also can see but less than the plane mirror convex normally uh, concave normally is a uh, remember we're using makeup mirror makeup mirror just can see smaller part okay this one is a plane mirror okay last one we see the convex mirror convex mirror you can see wider area Okay, wider area. This one just like the side mirror. Okay, so this one is a sum of the example. This one is a convex mirror. So you can see the convex mirror. You can see uh, behind got blue color, in front got orange. We got the sum of the uh, table. We got this one is what? La? Don't know what is that. La? Okay, we got mirror. Okay, if I'm using a plain mirror, this one is a normal plain mirror. You can see the mirror here. La? Then you can see the board. Okay, you can see blue color orange color cannot appear here if i using concave so concave that means you totally cannot see anything okay you see the orange color is here blue color is this part and after that this one is become very big already okay actually this one is a white color this part there's a white color so the rest we cannot see so this one we call concave mirror they focus to one point that means the object is very big okay but the the area is very small okay then the convex is a object very small then the area is very big okay then we go another one so this one is a side mirror for your car okay if you're using the flat mirror that means you can see like this only okay beside you the car you just can see a little bit if you're using convex mirror so you can find it the area becomes smaller uh, the area become wider but the size become uh, smaller okay so from here we can see more okay we can see more the area the car you can see the whole car already okay okay now we go to answer question number eight mirror at the sharp corner why we put the mirror at the sharp corner okay then the type of the mirror used to see the incoming car at the sharp corner so this one normally want to see the wider area is it so we're using convex mirror okay explain how the mirror is used to see the incoming car so you can see the answer light from the car okay remember uh, the light is always from the object light from the car ahead is refracted by the mirror to the driver so he can see the upright and also small image wider view of the vision so that means you can see the overcome, 
the car is come from the another road, that means although there's a bright point, you can using the mirror to see the car is it coming or not. So this one is a one of the benefit why we using the uh, convex mirror at the blind point. Okay, that's a more dangerous if you never use because you cannot see any anything just behind there. So we are using this one to help. Okay. Okay, last one, you can see the, uh, the supermarket also using the convex mirror. Okay, the image produced by the convex mirror is always virtual. Okay, remember virtual means they cannot capture on the screen. Another one is smaller. Can, can you see? The object all becomes smaller already. Okay, another one is upright. Upright means you stand, they also stand. Okay, now we can see the whole shop. So normally they put at the corner corner of the supermarket after that they can see the overall the situation is what happened so this one the purpose why we're using the convex mirror okay so this one is some of the question and also application i uh, can share with you and also discuss with you so the coming soon should be 5.2 okay hope you understand about this one so thank you for your watching